Welcome to another episode of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. About everything. And I realized we were getting ready to start. Yeah. I didn't you know, get I just, the record button. I just like to jump in, you yeah. know, just... Uh, That's right. No prep. Bam. Yep. Yeah, bam. Jump in. Let's let's talk about some stuff. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Um, well, hang on. What? You're wearing a hat again today. You, is there a reason for that? Um, no. You, just wanted to wear a hat. Let's go on you. You know, I'm actually motivated a little bit by, uh, just a little bit, by Austin, just a little bit. Yeah? Uh-oh. <laughs> to wear my hair curly, because my hair is real curly. Yeah. Now It's been a while since you've grown it out. Yeah, well, the hair that actually grows, it <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> it is curly. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start. There, there's there's some prep that goes into me fixing my hair. Let's talk about that. No. <laughs> it's just prep. This is what it is. And so I, I started thinking, I was like, man, I don't, I'm tired of doing all that. So I'm just not going to do it anymore. Well, you're not going to do the prep? You're going to go all natural. Oh. Yep. What are we in for then? Give us um, a little taste. <laughs> it's not as curly as Austin's, is it? Uh, it's like, well, mine doesn't grow like Austin's hair. Yeah. You know, when he first came on a year and a half ago, he had a shaved head. That's Yeah, that's so right. So it's just like. Look at it now. Yeah. Put some tall fescue on there. <laughs> Some fertilizer and junk just grew. He just had so. that junk aerated. Yeah, aerated. Aerated. <laughs> aerated. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about. Um, so let's talk about where you were last week because <laughs> our our people missed out on nothing and everything because because well, apparently I just didn't show up. Well, you, which was not true. Technically, it is true. You did not show up. Uh, that is true. Were you here waiting for me? We were actually. That's not true. We have video footage of. Y'all did that as set up here. on purpose because I told you I there's was not no, going to be no here. Setup. I was there's not no in setup. town. What do you mean? There's set. There's no setup. I thought you were going to be out of town for fall break. I was here. <laughs> this is this is a setup. You were not here. I'm, I was not here, but I let you know well in advance. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm not going to be here. And then nobody seemed to want to shoot early. <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel like I'm in a hole. So what happened? I'm sorry, people. <laughs> What happened? Let's talk about. You had a uh, something happened to you while you were. Well, what had happened on, was. What had happened was. Tell us about. Well, it. we had a little little fall break action at the beach. Mm-hmm. Had a couple of days. We went down a day early. Wait, on. What, what beach do y'all go to typically? The same one, Carolina Curry. Oh, okay. Beach, so is that how you say it, Curry? I don't know. That yeah, that's a big debate. Curry, Curry, Curry. Spell it. It's K U R E. That's definitely not Curry. Well, it's how people say it, though, I think, down there. Is it people who live there? you got to ask locals everything. Well, I, we have before, and that's what they've kind of said. Yeah. Kind of. Something gets lost in translation every time. Hmm. It's something like that. You just kind of say it real, like, uh, just kind of slur it. Carter, and people know what you're saying. Mm. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So we're at the beach. Yep. Uh, it was just a normal fall break weekend. Uh, we weren't able to get down there this summer, so it was like, hey, let's go fall break, catch out on Monday and Tuesday. This we is at y'all's beach house. We let them skip. Not my beach house. No, the we uh, beach house beach that house. you own. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With all that podcast money. <laughs> <laughs> podcast money, buying beach houses. We have a nothing and everything uh, house at the beach. A little slush fund. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Yeah. We're not quite there yet. I have a slushy fund. <laughs> <laughs> where like a slurpy fund. Where uh, basically. Wheeze the juice on the... Uh, yeah. I, said, I had... <laughs> I had my. That's so funny that you said that because <laughs> yesterday my uh, my seven year old had like a fruit cup mm-hmm. and they it was one of the oranges that has a bunch of juice in mm-hmm. it and I peeled the thing back because you know it splashes all over. Yeah, you. I peeled right, the thing right. back and I told her to wheeze the juice. <laughs> so she was walking around the house not having any idea who Pauly Shore is. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. She, we- that's she goes, awesome. Dad, I'm wheezing the juice. I was like, I want you to say that forever. That is awesome. Uh, this is our influence. This is our influence. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wheeze the anyway, juice. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Where do you want to add? Our own ad in our own video? Yeah. <laughs> so how are you going to start the ad? I love how he's just like, You guys are the professionals. How about we just talk about it? This just in. Do you want to start it? I thought I just did. No, oh. that was me starting it. Hey, we got a little ad. So just start off. Okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> you look like you're about to start it. Well, I was, but now I don't know what I was going to say. So you've got some 
kind of some big news. Is it player of the week? Is that what it's called? Player, player. Just athlete of the week. Ooh. So, so Gavin's been nominated for the Charlotte Observer Athlete of the Week. Yes. And so, there's going to be a link somewhere in a description. Something, something like that. I'm not sure how that works. But what do you want people to do though? They got to go. I want you vote. to go in and vote. It literally takes five seconds. You go, you click on the link, you scroll down, you type in yes, which says you're a human. Hit submit. Click on Gavin's name. Hit refresh. Do it again. Hit refresh. Hit do, refresh it again. do it again. <laughs> you can vote as many times as you like. Not only did he receive some individual acc- accolade, Ooh, he actually you know helped lead his team to the first ever championship, and I think that's, that's a that's strong great. team overall too, though. Help Smash him win. that submit button. Yeah, I, just vote for Gavin. Vote for Gavin. See ya. <laughs> the funny thing, yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, we're at the beach house, and um, Friday was the best day to go to the beach. It was the warmest, you know, whatever. Everything was fine. Um, nobody had been, my one kid woke up a little bit sick that morning, but we were going to go out to the beach and the pool and do all the stuff. And I had a little bit of an accident. <laughs> what happened? I had come in, I came inside. I was going to go downstairs to open up the, um, there's like a door from the garage back to the pool. So we'd go out and get the chairs and stuff like that. And I just wasn't paying attention. I got to the bottom of the stairs, probably about the fifth stair to the bottom. And my, I wasn't holding on to the rail or anything. Cause I was kind of probably moving a little bit quicker. Pop. And I fell. <laughs> my feet just slipped out from under me. I fell right on my rib. And I go, pop, pop. And I hit the ground. And I was just like, ah. And it hurt. I mean, it, it legitimately yeah. hurt. But I didn't think anything else. I just thought, mm-hmm. crap, that really hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm going to be bruised up or something. Mm-hmm. My wife comes around. And she's like, oh, you okay? You okay? And I laid there for a second. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I think I maybe just like knocked the breath out of me. You mm-hmm. know, you could knock the breath out. It's been right. a long time. But I was just right. like, Ugh, you know. And so I was like, dog, that really hurt. And I just kept on, but I was like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm like, right. what am I going to do? Go, right. okay, I'm going to go lay in the bed. Mm-hmm. So we honestly went out to the beach and the pool. And I was just like, man, this thing hurts. And just playing around, doing all the stuff. So that was Saturday. No, that was Friday. Friday night was uncomfortable Wait, sleeping. Friday? And y'all had just gotten there. Yeah, we got there Thursday night. Oh, gosh. So I had just gotten there. And then uh, the next day, everybody seemed to be falling, like getting sick too, like. People were congested and like, like I don't feel good, and, and the weather was kind of cooler, so we just all stayed mm-hmm. in. Saturday and Sunday, I was like, yeah, this thing really hurts. <laughs> I was just like, this really hurts, and I was like, I'm having a hard time breathing. Like I was just, like, I felt like I was just like short of breath. Sunday afternoon, my three year old woke up like from her nap and was like, ah, my ear hurts. I was like, crap, oh she's got an ear, gosh. you know, she's got an ear Y'all infection. Just passing around COVID all up in your house. Well. Well, that was, I mean, that was a possibility of that, I guess. But so that night, you know, my wife was like, ah, we're going to the urgent care and you're going to go, you need to get checked out. Did Austin there? <laughs> no, but <laughs> we got that urgent care. You should have used his punch card. He's got a punch card at the urgent care. Does he go to the <laughs> urgent care that often? He likes to go to urgent care. He's on a first name basis. They walk in. Oh, oh hey, Austin. 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 It's good to see you. Customer awards built up. I could have. Why do you, <laughs> why do you go there that often? Do you have, do you have a regular doctor? What do you mean? Like a family doctor. I mean, you go yeah, get a checkup. Yeah, the one right here, like the you, urgent care right here. That's his regular <laughs> your doctor. Your urgent care is your regular doctor? Well, yeah. We should fix that. If you're a doctor and you're listening to the Nothing <gasps> Everything podcast. <clears throat> that's what we need. We're going to send Austin your way. He has no ailment now, but just give it time. Yeah. By the time this thing airs. Yeah. Well, evidently <laughs> you too. So so what's, what's so, the... So, well, anyway, so that uh, Sunday night we went, and she's like, all right, we're going to x-ray you and swab your kid and all this stuff. And so they came back and she was like, you have a number 10 broken rib and a partially collapsed lung. And I they was got like, that from an ear swab? No, no, that was, <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. The technology has advanced. Whoa. No, that was for my kid. Okay. She had strep throat. Mm-hmm. And then somebody else had strep throat in my house. And then I had a broken rib and tough time. Sneezing <laughs> oh my goodness. is the most painful thing. Oh my goodness! Does I it still sneeze. hurt now? Uh, it hurts. It's not excruciating. So, like, what, what do you do for a broken rib? You got like an ace bandage wrapped around you? Like, well, so that's what a lot of people think. Or they ask, and they said, "Don't wrap it." They're like, "I guess it compresses too much, uh, especially okay. with my lungs." And they're like, yeah. "You just got to ride it out." They're like, "It'll hurt pretty good for about two weeks, and then it'll start feeling better, and then it'll take six full weeks to heal." Are you on like pain medicine or something? Just ibuprofen, Tylenol. Mm. Just. Just a leather belt. Strength stripes. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. So that's fine. I mean, the only thing has been like, um, I think yesterday, yesterday did an 
eight o'clock announcements, I was like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I felt like I was yeah. breathing real heavy, like yeah. doing, I was like, man, I need to calm down. Like, yeah, right. I can tell sleeping, like laying down the first four or five days was like really bad. Mm. Since then, I've been able to sleep fine. Yeah. And then sneezing or laughing really hard. Wow. You know, Somebody came up from behind me at church yesterday, and I don't think, in my head, I was like, I don't think that they know. And they were messing with me from behind. Like, I thought, man, they're getting ready to bear hug mm-hmm. me, or, you know, smack your back or something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, man, if you, <laughs> look, I know it's Sunday morning and you we're all suited up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, you know, we're at the age where when something hurts, like, like it's funny how you said uh, your your wife came running over to you to see see how you're doing. You know, I remember like like this might be it. <laughs> like, yeah, like if I stubbed my toe when I was you know 25 years old, you know, my my wife would be like, "You good?" You all know, I while could, she's cooking or something. Hey, you all right? <laughs> now it's like run over there because you might be dead. This might, yeah, he might bleed out. This out of a broke. Rib. The only thing I could see when I was laying on the floor was the picture that Austin had posted of you and I, like the old men. We were old. I was like, <laughs> that's what I feel like right this now. This is us. This is us. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, but I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> now, my injury wasn't quite as dramatic as that. Yeah. But but probably a little the force behind it doesn't seem to be the same. <laughs> so I was, you know, every Wednesday, you know, I, I do music for Awana, which is our children's program, and then I lead worship for our student ministry. And so we're running back and forth. Well, we also do a Wednesday night supper here at the church. Mm. And so I always like to go over there because the food is always good. Yeah. So I'm at the little <laughs> I'm at the little line or whatever. And I literally I was looking at the meat <laughs> section and the desserts were down there. I literally just leaned <laughs> to look at the dessert and something something turned sideways in in my hamstring. Oh boy. And I immediately felt it, it was like ah ah you know, and my wife's like, What is wrong with you? And I was like, I don't know. So I didn't think nothing of it. Then the rest of the night, man, I was limping. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, man, this this actually hurts. You put I some literally icy hot on it or something? No, I didn't put any icy hot, although I do wear icy hot most days. But I literally just lean I, I just you know Wait, what? Wait, you, know, you can't you can just run by that. If I go You run, apply icy hot most days? I got the little spray, like the dry spray icy hot. Yeah, like a biofreeze type yeah, thing. Yeah, like waking up hurts, man. So <laughs> you can spray it on since you get out of the bed. <laughs> it's like, you know, some people use Are Axe. You grease up I your use, joints? <laughs> I use Icy Hot. Axe. It's like a body. <laughs> body spray. S- yeah. Your body all tingling all day long. Mm, all like, day. It's good. Mm, that smell menthol. Yep. So, anyway, uh, yeah. that You know, menthol was like the scent of, you know, of a man back in the day, you know. Like you can just, you know. Oh, I remember like in on, like, baseball, brute, always have like shoulder velva. problems. That's what uh, rub that junk down. That's what our preacher wears. He likes the aqua velva. I guess. I. <laughs> I don't know. Aqua so, velva. Yeah. You remember a few years ago we had we gave away aqua velva with the we? Christmas staff luncheon. Oh my goodness. We gave away aqua velva and we had dumped one of the aqua velva things out and we replaced it with like blue Gatorade, and we drank it. <laughs> You don't remember that? I don't remember any of that. Oh, that's funny. That's we thought crazy. it was funny. Like we like uh, we went to every the only place you could find Aqua Velva, and I'm not making this up. It was like Dollar General, right? So we went to like four Dollar oh Generals and got like as many Aqua Velvas as we could, and I'm sure people thought we were insane. You remember Brute? Yeah, Brute Thirty Three in the little green. Mm, yep. I, I remember like yeah, you know when I was like. Seven or eight, nine, start thinking about those kind of things. Yeah. And my grandparents would get me, mm-hmm. I'd get brewed or like Stetson. Like the collection. Mm-hmm. Kind of like little a box. little three. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I remember having like this soap on a rope and I'd wear it around my neck like in the <laughs> we didn't. I didn't have any of that. You know, my, my dad sold Amway. Really? So I had a glister. Glister. Oh, I don't know that one. That's like gum, toothpaste. <laughs> Everything I can't remember what the, like uh, the brand is like all in one like no, ooh. you could chew it and then brush your teeth with oh, it. Gosh no, <laughs> what was the uh, you know someone else used to do some some Amway Amway really we got an MLM over here. <laughs> what was the uh, was it Melaleuca? What was the uh, deodorant called? Um, Artistry. Artist. Artistry. Is that Artistry. A- is it actual Amway? Mm-hmm. I don't know that I've ever. We used to use the LOC man to wash our clothes, wash dishes, wash everything, wash the car. LOC. LOC. I don't know. Hello. Lots of crud in it. I don't know. <laughs> it was actually good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it was just weird. You just sell Amway. 
I don't know. Do you buy I mean, something from him? From this would Austin. be a great platform, man. If you would still yeah, you know, if fire that thing back up. I still got a number, probably. Do you really? Like an account number? You still get checks? You have passive income from your. Yeah, we got a whole team. <laughs> oh my god, a whole, got a whole team. team! You do. You probably do. It's like there's Austin, then there's people under him. You know, it really only him. matters if you're at the top <laughs> of all that pyramid. You know. Those yeah, guys those are the, the guys top. getting paid. Oh, my goodness. But everybody else is like, ah, I just made $11 this yeah. week. Or like, they're like, oh, man, it's coming. It's you know, always coming. It's, all, it's coming. <laughs> Listen, man, we're going to I was just, just waiting for we it. we got a big sale coming up. It's, it's going to happen. We're going to go to this meeting, and then I'm going to be like triple diamond. <laughs> we had like 15 people on our team at one point. 15 people on our team. On our team. Mm. Let's fire that thing back up and see what happens. What How long we, ago was this? We stopped doing it when COVID hit. We, you and your wife, like we were, we were hardcore into it. Seriously, they would go like, on like retreats. Like he'd ask people over for dinner, and then bam, mm-hmm. be like, "Wow, hey, we're, we're eating. so glad." Would you like a piece of gum? Like, Blister. no, we would walk through. <laughs> literally after work, we'd head to Target, whatever. Walk <gasps> walk through the stores and just start random conversations with people. Would you really? Oh, like my we were gosh. we were dedicated. That is hardcore. That's. That sounds like my worst nightmare. Like we'd end up with like 20 contacts throughout the week, and then we'd call them up. Hey, this is random, but. How many of those did you convert? <laughs> we had a lot of meetings. Like and we'd book a meeting, yeah. sit in a Panera, show the plan. There's a lot of that going on at Panera. Panera's a spot. Uh, seriously, that's the MLM Man. spot right there. You see somebody with a computer up and another person across from yeah. them? They're not eating. Take a look at these. They're not doing Bible study. Mm-hmm. If they're, yeah, if they're, <laughs> they're in Amway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I'm not built for that. I like how those guys though, like all the all the the multi level marketing people, it's like they just hustle. Like the whole time they're just like, like they've sold themselves out to this. Like there's there's another there's another brand that's out there and it's like food stuff, right? And it's like meal replacement stuff. So instead of eating breakfast, yeah, you eat the shake. Right, you, you drink the shake. Mm-hmm. And like I started thinking, there's going to come a point in my life where all I can do is drink shakes. So I want to eat as much food as I can right now. now. Right, you, get you know what I'm saying? Insure <laughs> yeah. part of your life. One day it's going to be like, I'll wake up and they'll be like, here's your insurer. Thank you. You know, but for now, man, I want to eat. I want to eat that cheeseburger, man. I want to eat that pizza. So you know the prune juice is coming. It's coming one day. And so I've got a friend who was. Um, drinking these shakes he's like oh yeah man these shakes blah blah or these bars and i'm like can you do that the rest of your life you gonna drink a shake and eat a bar the rest of your life while that person who sold that <laughs> stuff to you is driving a purple cadillac Bugatti or whatever or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a purple cadillac i think that was mary Ca- that was a pink mary, pink, a pink, pink cadillac. cadillac whatever that was uh i'm just not good at that like I'm, saying i don't have cadillac. a cadillac natalie cole it was originally like Elvis, but it wasn't like no, no, like Dwight Yoakam did it. Um, Dwight Yoakam, he did it. Uh, who did you say, Natalie? Natalie Cole, Patty LaBelle, Bruce Pat, Springsteen. I was gonna say Patty LaBelle. LaBelle, Bruce Springsteen. I ain't never heard Natalie that Cole. Nat- Natalie Ooh, Cole. Natalie Cole. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, uh, so the other day, my my kid was singing a lyric to a song, and he was like, "I I think he said, don't call it a comeback." And so I was like, I've been here for years. Yeah. And he looked at me like, what? what do you? And I was that's like, not it, Dad. that's LL Cool J. Yeah. He's like, who's that? And I said, I, wow. son, I, I am sorry because I, I have failed, failed you. you. I'm a terrible father. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> My kid didn't know LL Cool J. It was I, sad. It, is, we need to take it happens all that. the time. Yeah, my wife said she swears that she met and has a pic- there's a picture floating around. I mean, this is before all the this is years ago. And this had been early on in LLs, but that she got a picture with him in a um like a Honolulu airport. And I'm just like I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe it either cuz I've never mm-hmm. seen it. So I'm like, right. babe, I, you know. She needs to And I just know. imagine he's got a Kango, no shirt, big thick chain yep. with some like Adidas sweatpants or something, mm-hmm. like the the velvet mm-hmm. tracksuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't believe it. That song was so hard back in the day. Man, ladies love Cool James. That stuff was so good, man. <laughs> back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah, well, but kids these days. Uh, kids these. Oh, isn't that a bit? Kids yeah. these days. Kids these days don't know who LL Cool J is. You know, 
the funny thing is, you know, we we hang out with Austin a lot. Obviously, we're we're together a lot. And he um he's just waiting for the moment to be like, hey, he's always reminding us about the line. We were out at lunch the other day, and um. Somebody said something like up, up, down, down. And I immediately was like, left, right, left, right, B A select start. And he was Wait, like, you might have well, me on this one. Contra on the Nintendo. Oh. It's the yeah, cheat code gamer. where you get infinite life. Oh. Right? And so <laughs> he said right, like yeah, Right. No, right. I mean like yeah. this is yeah. Duh. I'm not a game. I don't yeah. I was playing Nintendo. You were obviously playing the Sega. So That sounds like it's you didn't a play any of those games? I, I mean, it was like really early stuff. It's like Xbox and PS4 or you PS see, whatever. I had like an Atari and then a Nintendo, and then I, I kind of was like, eh, this uh, is not really for me. Yeah, you guys, y'all, y'all didn't make much money growing up. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I just think about going my parents totally like that. Took a shot at your whole family right there. It took there. us like three years to I'm put teasing. our, we would put that Atari on layaway. <laughs> Oh man, so yeah, that that's that, funny you say that because I'm like, yeah, I don't. We one thing we had, we had we had every gaming system. Did you really? Oh man, yeah. Like when you were when a teenager, I, growing up, I never yeah. I never missed. A really? single Yeah, the only thing I never had, I never owned an Xbox. Was that like? Because I was I well I got a I got a PlayStation One, and that was like that was the route. And so there was a game that was specific for. Xbox, yeah. and I didn't like it, so I had no reason to get it because every other game was on PlayStation as well. Uh. So I just went that route. That was it. That was it. <laughs> That's cool. So, when people start talking about games, I'm kind of like, I don't know what they're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Well, it was just funny, like, you know, all the cheat codes on all, all those games, he, he, didn't, he didn't know any of them. Austin he didn't, didn't know, know any of those. No. No. But let's, let's, uh, let's carry on with Austin. What is he drinking right now? Do you see what he's uh, sipping on over there? I, I saw it earlier. It's called... Just so you know, it's it's called Liquid, liquid death. death. What is that? It's the, you know, like Lacroix. I don't yeah, say say what you said earlier. Yeah, it's a man's version of Lacroix. Yeah, ooh, it's the masculine La- the version of Lacroix. The man's version of Lacroix. You know, Lacroix is the absolute worst drink in the history of mankind. Really, you don't like yes. it? Yes. No. What is there to like? Nothing about it's good. It, it's not really that tasty. Those kind of drinks, like right. the flavored water. Right. Because they're not really, there's not a lot of sweetness to them, which right. is fine. But that's what but you, you want. don't really get like, this is lemon lime. Well, it doesn't really taste like it. This mm-hmm. is mango. Doesn't really taste like it. Right, right. But I guess you feel good because it's guilt free. He's only got like 20 calories for liquid death. I feel like you should be carded for that. Just when he walked Kinda in, like I thought it was like you said like earlier, kombucha that you get carded for, or whatever. <laughs> you he, ever had that kombucha? He had it in a brown bag, and I was like, awesome. What are you doing? Mm, there you go. <laughs> Kids these days. Kids these days <laughs> that want to be Those more drinks, Yeah. What, whatever happened to, yeah, where's Billy D. Williams when Billy you need Billy D. Williams. <laughs> oh, man. Man, where's that, uh, where's that monster drink whenever you need it? Oh. You know, that do you was drink just, energy drinks? Um, I do like a Celsius. See, this looks like one, but then if you're like, hey, it's just a LaCroix. It's right. got cool packaging, and you put liquid death on top. But, like, I don't – it feels a little misleading. You know, if you're like, oh, it's got five times the caffeine and all this stuff, I would get that. Like, you're going to go into a seizure if you drink this. <laughs> yeah. It feels oh, like that, that but a, then that you drink it like, laugh. hey, it's just – it's yeah. just a sparkling water. Right. Murder your thirst. Murder oh, your thirst. is that thirst? what it says? Murder your thirst? Yeah. They really went hard for that, you know. It's I mean, probably like, paying off, though. Liquid, liquid death. It's got electrolytes. Agave nectar. Ooh, agave nectar. Yeah, it's just, you know, you show up at like a, a party or something with that, you know. The, yeah, a liquid death. A liquid death. They're like, hey, what's that? And at like concerts and stuff, it's like an alcohol alternative. Alcohol alternative? Mm. So you look like you're like pounding yeah. something, but you're you not. Look, you look cool. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's like the first watch of the day, and you're already <laughs> <laughs> pounding some liquid death back over there. That's... <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a wild yeah, day of yeah. liquid death. Your your review's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need you to stop drinking before ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
Let's wrap this up. Seriously, it's probably about time. Hey, uh, have you done any trading up lately? So the rib put me put me down. I was on IR for the last week. What? I I did trade up. But wait, a you got a I pack of gum? Traded up. Yeah, I'm still. That the gum, pack of gum is all like hard and no, nasty no, no. Right it's now. still in the cellophane. We're still good. Oh my gosh. Have, have you? No. Okay. There you go. <laughs> what about you? He's the, probably, the people of West Virginia didn't. Uh, did you walk around the I didn't want my clothes. woods? Here's some peat moss. <laughs> Here's some peat moss for those, I mean, for those racing know. gloves. <clears throat> yeah. Helmet. What'd you get? Gloves or helmet? Gloves. They like racing up there. <clears throat> they like wrestling too. Oh, I like them wrestling. Wrestling. Wrestling some bears. Who was your wrestler growing up? Did you have somebody? You... Uh, Coco Beware. I liked him a lot. My favorite though. Go, go beware. My favorite like though. Like Junkyard Dog too. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That was my favorite guy. Are you serious? Yes. Are we? Are we best friends? Oh, we may be now. Ricky so yeah, the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yeah, he was my favorite. Yep. Sting was was good too. Um, my brother was obsessed with Ultimate Warrior. He that was, was a little, little bit kind of after. He was a little too roided up. Yeah. I like Ricky the Dragon, and I like Jimmy Superfly Snooker. I do like Snooker. Yeah. Snooker. I'd like J- Coco Beware, Junkyard Dog. So you were WWF. Like that that's the We were, but you know, earlier, um, some of these guys got their start like in smaller markets before right. they got a blow up. So we would always watch like the Saturday thing from like right. it's probably from like Memphis or something. Mm-hmm. It was real big. Like <clears throat> that's where like Jerry Lawler. What was the one guy that was the heart? What was his name? He was like the manager guy. That Jimmy, Hart. Hated. Jimmy Hart. Jimmy mm-hmm. Hart. That's where they got their start. Yeah. So we'd watch those guys coming up. And Brett they're like Nolan, wrestling yeah. in front of – I mean, this was on television. Mm-hmm. It's a studio of like 25 people. Yeah. And it's kind of this low-budget thing. And then some of those guys blew up. That like, was fun to watch, though. So I was I was a N- NWA guy. Um, not, the, not like not the, <laughs> not Not that group. Not that Ren, NWA. Yo. No, the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so I was into like Dusty Rhodes and, you know, the Four okay. Horsemen, those guys. So that was kind of more my speed. Lex, right. Lex Luger. Okay. Because those guys would fight in, in, at the Macon Coliseum. Really? Which was close I don't think to, I ever saw anything live, though. Did you go live? I never went live. Mm. I did have a friend who grew up, and he would uh, he would go to all the wrestling matches. But uh, Dusty Rhodes, you know, he was such a local hero. You know, he yeah. started selling cars after his wrestling days was <laughs> over with. And so he's like, come on down to Perry, Georgia, get your car, you know? It's like he broke a rib. Right. <laughs> we'll so. play this back and it's probably like a bunch of heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's definitely going to have to edit all your breathing. All right. It was a great show today. Man, it was great. Kyle, thanks for coming back. We we were I, I seriously, we were wondering if, if this was going to happen anymore. So, hey, are we doing, are, are we, do we still have people watching? Do people still watch? Does anyone even New care? People still we're growing. See, nobody yeah. even knew I was going last week. Oh. Yeah, I, you know, I, I actually never heard anything about it. We didn't put an episode out. So I apologize to all of our people, our listeners. Yeah. Our viewers. Our, sh- our uh, fans. sponsors. I don't know. Probably have to have death. some meetings. <laughs> Liquid death. Liquid death and so. dots. No, are we allowed to say that? We're not. We're probably not allowed to say. We can say whatever we want, can't we? Oh. If nobody's watching it. If you declare it. I declare it. Yeah, is anybody watching or listening? Austin, he's trying to get us a quick update over there. Nah, he's Googling. Our audience has something. changed from uh, 30% 45 to 59-year-olds. <laughs> 45 to 59-year-olds? So You're not 45 yet, are you? They're going to like the wrestling bit we did today. They're, they're going to love that. They're going to be like, yeah, man, Barry Windham, Lex Luger, <laughs> Sting, Stinger Splash, Chris Benoit. They'll like all that. <laughs> uh. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week if he shows up.